If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, Sexers? Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because this is actually a pretty cool kind of, maybe you didn't even notice, type epic weapon that you can get in Call of Duty World War II. And I actually got this idea from a fellow YouTuber friend of mine by the name of Aaron or Tan Kid. Now, he made a video talking about this epic weapon that you can get in Call of Duty World War II that you get by doing nothing. You don't even need to spend armory credit to get this guy or go to contracts and do the collections or open supply drops. You don't need to do any of that. And it's actually pretty cool because I wasn't even aware of this myself because I didn't get a notification or anything like that. And some of you guys probably are in the same boat I am where you have been playing and you didn't even realize that you had this epic weapon to use. So let's go ahead and talk about this, guys. So basically, this weapon you're going to get is going to be a Thompson. It's going to be basically the Thompson. That's what I like, to, ASM1 speakeasy, whatever you like to call it. And you actually get this guy, as you guys can see, it's going to be in your airborne division and it is called the M1928 the Wilco. And you guys can see right over here, it's an epic M1928. Now, you guys can see it's a little bit rusted, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit kind of worn out, but it does look different. It's actually pretty cool. It's also, it's also a little bit more expanded. Like it's, it's definitely a little bit longer in the barrel area. But anyway, so how do you get this guy? Well, it turns out that the way to actually get this is by getting to a level five in your social score rank. So let me go over to my dossier so you guys can see here my social rank right now is at seven i'm about almost all the way done to get over to my social score of ranking up to eight you guys can see you have your rewards on the bottom left so the next one's going to say emote reach and then i heard that if you get to like level 20 there's like 10,000 armory credits that you get something like that something crazy but i'm currently number seven I'm currently level 7. You guys can see it's actually pretty difficult to level up because my lobby is completely empty. You guys can see right over here, there's no one in my lobby. Everyone's gone. They all they all ditched my ass. And uh, so basically, you can't really do as much as you wish you could do to get your social score up. Now, the best way to do this, and we'll jump, go ahead down and jump down here, uh, is to actually go over to Major Howard. This is the best way to do it. If you don't have anyone in your lobby, as we have seen already overnight though, there have been people who have been getting put in public headquarters or that are actually populated. So we'll definitely see about that. But some of these give you armory credit. Some of these give you uh, extra XP towards your social score. Uh, I don't have any at the moment. We had some yesterday though, where I had a challenge where you needed to go to the firing range and you needed to shoot like 10 targets in 10 seconds. So the best way to do this is to hopefully get in a lobby of other people, run around and commend the players and they will hopefully commend you back. Going into the pit, doing a 1v1, going and doing a shootout into the firing range. Both of those are the best way to get your social score up. Now, if you never make it into a populated HQ, the second best thing you can do is invite as many friends as you can into your headquarters, commend each one of them, have them commend you back, go over to the firing range, challenge each one of them into a shootout, challenge each one of them into the 1v1 pit, and believe me, you're going to be leveling up a lot faster than the current way we are because there's really no other way besides your orders over by Major Howard or actually inviting people to your lobby or hopefully getting lucky and getting into a headquarters that's actually populated. But let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right over here. We're going to go over to the Wilco and you guys can see this is what it looks like. Let me just get it nice in the sunlight. Uh, it's a little bit rusted, you guys can tell. Obviously, if you get the heroic version, I'm assuming you're going to be able to have like a nice shiny chrome finish, but it's pretty rusted out. It looks pretty, it's still pretty funny. It, it's definitely pretty funny, but it does also give you that boost, obviously, of the 10% extra XP as you're playing the game. So with that said, I wanted to kind of try out this guy just to see what it looks like in game. So let's go ahead and try this out in a public lobby. And again, guys, this is the easiest, cheapest thing you can do to get an epic weapon in Call of Duty World War II. The only other way would be to talk over here to my good friend, the Quartermaster, going over to collections and trying to get some of these done. Like I did get the FG42 one done. Uh, some of them I'm not even close, but I do have a ton of supply drops. I have 41 common, 38 rare that I'm getting ready to open up once I get into an actual lobby or if there's DLC weapons, I wanna see if I can try to get them. But uh, it's gonna be a while before I get to these guys. I do have 15K armory credit I'm not wanting to spend just yet. Again, I'm saving up. We know we're getting DLC weapons. Like I know we're gonna get them and I wanna make sure that I'm ready to go. But in the meantime, this is probably the best way to do it. Get a free one to get your social score up. Talk to Major Howard, invite friends, get into an actual populated headquarters. 
I've seen some people get into them. I have not stumbled into them. But anyway, let's go ahead and try out this Thompson Wilco. You guys can see my class setup here. We got Airborne. We got Inconspicuous. I don't know if that's how you say it. Inconspicuous? In in inconspicuous. Let's give this guy a go. I, I didn't want to use uh, any one of my camels on this guy just because, you know, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is. It's already an enemy recon aircraft, bro. Let's try this guy out. I really like the Thompson when I was using it earlier. Look, the, the suppressor is the only thing that isn't rusty on this guy. Or maybe it is rusty. Let's put it back on. Let's see. Oh, no, it looks normal. <laughs> But this thing's so freaking rusty, dude. I was seeing people complain about how the uh, heroic versions of weapons are like not rusty and like they're trying to make you buy the DLC or, or get COD points to get the better looking ones and I just thought it was pretty crazy. The whole point of these weapons is to get some nice looking weapons and on top of that get the 10 or 15% extra XP so I don't really understand why people get super upset but we got into a late lobby into this one so it ended pretty fast but let's jump into the very next one. Alright guys so I wanted to show you guys one more thing you guys probably don't know about this but you can actually commend people here in the pre-game lobby just go over to their name or it'll just kind of go through all the players names and just start at the bottom and you want to hit commend player and that's basically it you can commend every player here hopefully people will commend you as well I don't know if, if they will, hopefully the HQs get populated very soon and then we'll be able to level up and you guys can get up to level 5 and get your free Thompson Wilco. I don't like going out there because then snipers always get my ass, man. Ooh, with the jump shot. Teammates saved my ass too, bro. I was about to die. This dude's planking it on the freaking ground. Dude, no! What? <laughs> that was the shortest steps that I'm doing the climbing animation for it, dude. Oh my god. I gotta take like no damage. What are you pulling out your shovel for? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I love the Thompson so much though. Like, this M1928 is so freaking good. I don't want to say it's a bad map because I actually like the map, but it's so slow. It plays so freaking slow. Oh, hell no! <laughs> God damn, I got that two for one special. And then I get spawn snipe, bruh. You gotta respect it. Oh my God, dude, are you serious? We just went from USS Texas to, to Gustav Cannon, bro, I'm done. And we're still playing on the same map, you know? Cause that's just the way it is. Just not a big fan of this map cause you're either inside here or up top. There's never like action going on anywhere. There we go. Dude sniping on the back of the map. Something broke free in the basement. Something that I heard nasty. him. Oh. <laughs> It's shredded, my dude. He's using the PP. It's so cool being able to run around without hearing your footsteps so freaking loud. In my rusty ass drum bear. Ooh. Ooh, what the? It sucks to suck for that guy, dude. He literally spawned into his death. What up? Like my jump shots? My jump shots are lethal, bruh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! No! There's another person! Why can't they let us have our fun? They were interrupting us. Our wonderful game of cat and mouse. Oh, jeez! Hello darkness, my old friend. Oh my god. Look at that golden spawn point. Did you see that? <laughs> what was that, dude? Oh my god, that was beautiful. Like, spawn in and just wreck them, bro. Got he. He 
You br oh no! And I burned to death, dude. What? <laughs> this freaking shotgun, dude. Again, <laughs> bro. This dude with the freaking incendiary shells, dude. I'm getting. F Keep it PG. It takes so long to kill people. Am I do saw me? The police. Oh, I gotta run. Oh, why'd you reload, bro? That's ah! no. Stop it with your buzzing. And then this freaking incendiary shell dude just gets me again. Cause why not? Please don't get me with your fire, sir. Please. I'm allergic to fire. Oh, God. No, dude. I should have run away. This dude is freaking shotgun, man. He's been triggering me all day. Oh, God. We're back on this same freaking map, dude. I'm out. I am out. No. Okay, Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I can accept this. This is better than the USS Texas. Why is it that Gustav Cannon and the USS Texas are literally the two maps that are most chosen when people hate them? Who's voting for this crap, dude? Point of the video was to talk about an epic weapon that you guys could unlock easily by just doing your social score up, and it's turned into the USS Texas and, and, and Gustav Cannon rant, so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, drop a like, drop a favor. I'm sorry, Activision must have put in Gustav Cannon matchmaking instead of skill base and must have put that in so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did drop a like on the video guys it does about it is appreciated and if you are brand new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this obviously make sure you guys do subscribe and you turn on notifications by hitting that little bell icon down below i'll see you guys next time follow me on twitter check out my gaming channel and i'm out peace